Yo. What is up, everybody? Ragecage20 here. Back with something new for the channel. Not Technically not new for me. Doing another little new one here. I have so many videos lined up. For today, I'm just going to try to get through four. And then some Mr. Ballin videos, because I'm just on a balling kick, and I'm loving it. Uh, back into the ball videos, but that's not important. Uh, so, Icon for Hire. I do not know much about this group, except for it seems like it's made up of two members. Though it does seem like they have they bring another like two or three members with them when they tour and whatnot, get some drums and some bass and some stuff in them. Um, I uh, I think I was listening to uh, I think uh, uh, my playlist on Spotify was done, and they started randomly recommending me videos. And Venom came on, and excuse you, and <laughs> sorry, my water bottle had an attitude, uh, and that song was bumping, like the rock mixed with the electronic sound, the kind of almost EDM level of it ish, uh, the, the, the electronic aspects of it mixed with her like rapping, singing, and everything. It was just like. Even ha it even has a little bit of this kind of like punk alt rock feel to it. It just it blew me away, man. I love listening to that song. So I found a video off that same album. I think it's next in the album. It's also a bonus deluxe track thing. I'm fucking. Uh, <laughs> it says deluxe edition bonus track, just like Venom. No idea. But it's a music video off the same album, so we're going to watch Hollow today. Sounds like fun. Uh, I have high expectations uh, for this for this group going forward. Um, all I know is that it's in a therapy session. Uh, I assume one of the band members is having therapy, and it's called Hollow. How could that not be about some good deep shit? I imagine it's going to be fantastic. So... Let's fucking go. I don't want to break down, but I'm feeling low. Let me sink to the bottom. Every in my lungs keeping me afloat. Inside, I'm still alone. I know I'm not my thoughts, but my thoughts don't know that yet. Sometimes I try to sneak up on the voice inside my head. I've tried to meditate because they tell me it'll help. I'm alone inside myself I know I'm not unique We all got broken brains Culture recently decided Being crazy is okay mm. And now we all can talk about it On our social feeds Having a rough day Hashtag mental health awareness week I know that's progress We don't have to hide no more But it leaves me wondering Why we ain't said this stuff before Like were we always all crazy And we all just kept quiet Are we on the same page With what we're identifying And if crazy's the new normal Then it's not that crazy is it Cause the word by definition Means it sits outside the system and how can we tell the difference between sick and trying to fit an end if everybody's crazy then who's supposed to About the struggle left or risk past Getting easier to open up Share what we've lost Good to know I'm not alone But if I'm really being honest I kind of hope there's something wrong with me I kind of hope this isn't how it's supposed to be Supposed to be I pray to God it's not normal Crying on the floor I don't want to do this anymore Inside we're still hollow I don't wanna break down So 
Sometimes I try to sneak up on the voice inside my head. I've tried to meditate. They tell me it'll help, but the last thing I need is more time alone. Ariel. Hmm. Ariel. Are you even listening? Yeah. Uh, sorry. What were you saying? <clears throat> Paused there, <laughs> just out of out of habit. Maybe I've been watching too much Mr. B, uh, because uh, I rem I was thinking after I started that you know I knew I I, I looked up their name was Ariel and it sounds like he was pronouncing Ariel uh, instead of Ariel, just like real fast, like kind of punk actuating uh, actuating <sighs> accenting the L E L in the name. <laughs> It's gonna be a long night. This is how my tongue's tied already, and we just starting. This is gonna be a long fucking recording night. Um, but I also love that flip there, uh, of her being the psychiatrist at the end, even though, uh, even though, it's like the flip that like she's a psychiatrist yet she's messed up in the head too, kind of thing. That like we're all crazy, kind of thing. Even the people that are trying to help people who are crazy are crazy, you know. I just, at least I assume that was the message there. That guys, let me let me tell you that if that wasn't evi extremely evidentially clear by the physical reactions and the faces and the and the you know, the sounds that were probably coming out, I saw a fucking bump, dog. Like holy shit, that was good. Like. Two for twos. Oh yeah, that I was also gonna say that they kind of they the, the sounds that I was hearing also kind of gave me a uh, relica reliqua. Oh, the fuck you pronounce that kind of vibe, but also kind of gives me a little bit like I, I could also really see uh, Addie from Halloween kind of in the way kind of also in her voice a little bit as well, but also the way she looks so on the you know with the hair colors and you know and the, the, the beautiful features, um, but also getting a little bit of a Paramore vibe. A little bit as well. I don't mean that as an insult. I like Paramore. Um, Haley, she's pretty bitch. I ain't gonna lie, she's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, just like Relic World, dude, two for two fucking bangers back to back. That was so cool. The rap breakdowns in there, the flows in there, plus just the lyrics in general were fucking hitting home, dog. Like those lyrics are so raw and real man that that, that that can hit a lot of people where they live and that like that that these are some helpful healing lyrics right here <sighs> that was insane the mix between the rapping verses and the singing chorus and just <sighs> beautiful high notes in there beat was sick <sighs> it's almost not fair how good this song is <laughs> fair about what I don't know but it just seems like it's just so good it's almost not fair maybe for other people I don't know for other songs like you ruined it no that's not just kidding it was a really good it was a really really good song though like I'm fucking really excited first off you know it's a good song uh like I know it's a good song personally when I'm like half like not even halfway through but like when I'm getting around halfway through and I'm just like yeah, going on work playlist immediately. <laughs> like it's it's on there as soon as this video is done being recorded. <laughs> like that's 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 how you know it's a good one for me. Uh, that's how I know it's a good one for me. You wouldn't know that until I tell you. But <laughs> like that's that's how I know. Like when in the middle of like, dude, I want to listen to this more. I'm putting this on playlists, dog. Like when I know immediately, I don't even have to think about it. It's going on the playlist. It's good. It's fuck. It's good. <sighs> okay. <laughs> So let's go back through that. I need to 
I need to hear that again. I need to break some of these bars down. Uh, Cause like with most music videos, I don't usually pay attention to the lyrics. I catch a few every now and then I'll glimpse every now and then when I hear something I'm like bitching, I'll be like, Oh yeah, we're right here. Damn. That was, you know, but like, I, I want to dissect these bars a little bit more, but I also have a lot of points in here. Okay. So, Oh God, this is written really fast. Okay, that's a timestamp. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I don't know what time that is though. It looks like an I. It looks like a zero I four. Oh no, those yeah, forty seconds. This is zero after that too. Got it. That's not an I. That's a yep. <laughs> it's gonna be a long night. <sighs> I'm excited to get through though. So first thing right off the gate, because uh, it starts with uh, now I realize because like when I got to the course, I was like, oh here's the course. I was like, but I felt like I heard this before. It started out with the course. Got it. Really cool. I like I like so it was, I like when songs shake it up. Like I don't want every single song to be like this, but like occasionally when you get a song that shakes it up a little bit, it starts with the chorus. But the chorus, but it's like a muted version of the chorus, and then when the chorus comes in later, it's like a bumping version of the chorus. That's a really cool effect. Um, shakes up the mold every now and then, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, the high notes, the high notes that she pops up to in the chorus. Definitely want to check that out again. Then I said the, the when the instruments dropped out. And then she fucking came in with the fucking rap bars. And then the lyrics at 40 seconds. But we'll just take out the first 40 seconds. But then after around 4th we get to 40 seconds. Some of the lyrics that we're dropping in here were. I'm excited to get into this song. Because I'm huge. Um, I don't know. Mental health is very important to me. Uh, mostly because I deal with a lot of people that go through it. Um, whether it be in. Um. Uh, I work with teenagers like everywhere. <laughs> when I work in the school districts, tons of teenagers. Uh, and uh, I have a few adults that I work with at my second job, but again, mostly 16 to 18 year olds. Uh, so, teenagers. I work with a lot of teenagers, and they go through it, dog. Being a teenager is fucking hard. I don't know how ever I got out of being a teenager, but I, I was actually pretty lucky. But still, school's hell <laughs> in general. Even if you got it good, school's just hard to get through as, as a teenager. It, you, you go through it as a teenager. Uh, so mental health is really important for me, and this looks like it gets deep into that, and I'm really fucking excited for that. So that's uh, the high notes, rap, flow, drop, everything. Fucking just give it to me. Ariel. Okay, that 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 that. That, that, that line there, that melody line. Da, 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 da. Yeah, all right, let's go. And with the with that like bass that kind of comes in there, like again, it's setting up this beat, which is gonna be sick. First off, her outfit looks bitching, hair looks cool, love the look. At the same time, it kind of gives her that, again, that kind of that punk rock kind of angsty look, which is bitching. Uh, and her voice is awesome as well, so that really helps. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's a great, great start to everything here. I don't want to break down, but I'm feeling low. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nice little vibrato on there as well. The nice little jump up there that she does every now and then in this chorus. Catchy vocal line? Come on now. I don't wanna break down, but I'm feeling low. Mm. Let me sink to the bottom. Every my lungs keeping me afloat. Mm. Inside I'm still alone. That drop though. It heightens not only is that note down very smooth and serene and just kind of almost like not reserved. Um, like almost like resigning to to the acceptance of what's being said so it kind of feels like it backs off a little bit it's a little sad but it's not only is it smooth beautiful and kind of pulled back like that but also all the instruments and the beat and everything cut off to heighten that note and I'm pretty sure she just fucking drops these bars immediately after as as one hell of a fucking 15 20 seconds to introduce a song right there He's keeping me up close, and I'm still hollow. the note itself is almost a little hollow 
That's clever. I like that. Okay, let me not interrupt here because you just start spitting. God, these fucking bars though, dude. I know I'm not my thoughts, but my thoughts don't know that yet. The first fucking bar <laughs> is just fucking... It's like, I know that these thoughts are not really what I am. But like, but my head doesn't know that yet. I'm trapped in these thoughts that keep thinking I'm this, I'm that. That, uh, you know, maybe like I'm worthless or, you know, whatever dark, depressing thoughts are attacking you. It's like, I know deep down that I'm not this. But my thoughts don't know that yet. Like, that's a fucking bar right out the fucking gate. Sometimes I try to sneak up on the voice inside my head. Ugh, I've tried to meditate because they tell me it'll help. But the last thing I need is more time alone inside myself. It's like I don't want to meditate in the silence because that's when... The, the, that's when that voice inside my head is going to attack me. So the last thing I need is more time alone with myself. Those are fucking... Those are fucking bars were just dropping right out the fucking gate right here. Man, I want to check out these whole fucking... These, these whole verses, man. They're fucking crazy. I know I'm not unique. We all got broken brains. Culture Pause recently there. decided being crazy is okay. And now we all can talk about it on our social feeds. Having a rough day. Hashtag mental health awareness week. I know that's clever. <laughs> I love this. Don't quit there. That's very cool. Um, next set of bars here. First off, I love the pause in between unique and we all got broken brains. But, like, I know I'm not unique. We all got broken brains. Like, you know, I know it's not, like, specifically to me. Like, it's, you know, every, like, we're all going, uh, society is just going through this. And now we can all, t uh, sorry, currently, culture recently decided being crazy is okay. And now we can all talk about it on our social feeds. Like, yeah, and people that, uh, like be like hey you know just again to try to a lot of it's probably to try to get attention and whatnot just like hey going through it but you know hey we all have our struggles i'm pushing through hashtag social you know mental health awareness you know like the fact that in the video she looks over her shoulder like she's looking directly like past the fourth wall like <laughs> looking into the audience just like looking at you kind of thing fucking video wise that's fucking great uh, just those bars are cutting and just mm, God, that's good shit, man. That's really good shit, man. On our social feeds having a rough day. Hashtag mental health awareness week. I know that's progress. We don't have to hide no more. But it leaves me wondering why we ain't said the stuff before. Like were we always all crazy and we all just kept quiet? Are we on the same page with what we're so I, I like this kind of little back and forth here. Uh, I know that that's progress, you know, obviously saying that even though there are people that, you know, they're just like, ooh, hashtag going through a rough day, but hey, mental health awareness, you know, those fucking uh, people. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's like at least now we're identifying, trying to do something about, you know, mental health instead of people suffering in silence, like. Kind of used to just be the norm. People just didn't talk about it and didn't care. And now it's like, you know, we're getting progress done, which is good. We don't have to hide no more. But it leaves me wondering why we ain't said this stuff before, why it takes so long to get here. Uh, like, were we always all crazy and we all just kept quiet what we were just talking about? Are we on the same page where we're identifying? First off, good rhyme scheme there like that. <sighs> uh, God damn, man. And if crazy's the new normal, then it's not that crazy, is it? Cause the word by definition means it sits outside the system. And how can we tell the difference between sick and trying to fit in? And if everybody's crazy, then who's supposed to fix it? Down, Whew. Well, we're going to hit the end of that into the chorus. Because the next thing I have here is the chorus. But, um, uh, yeah, oh God, I didn't even notice that bar. Uh, so if crazy's the new normal then it's not that crazy is it like that makes with the next one because the definition of crazy is to be different than the norm so if we're all crazy then it's not crazy uh, by definition 
Um, and so it's like, how can we tell the difference between actually being crazy and just all these people trying to fit in with the, you know, the post hashtag stuff that we were talking about before. Um, and in the last bar there, and if everybody's crazy, then who's supposed to fix it? Which, you know, you see at the end, then, you know, with the switch that she's actually the therapist and whatnot, if we're all crazy, then how we're supposed to fix it? Like, that, that verse just fucking brought it, dog. <laughs> and then I want to I hear the push into this chorus here. And just cut. I think I think the chorus is pretty much the same. I think, you know, more instrumentation and whatnot. So we'll see if there's anything to talk about in there. But I did also note that I, I really like... I'll go a little bit farther back because I think it's before the... Yeah. <laughs> Let's actually go way back here. Because I missed a few things. So I like the, the kind of the crisp... I like, uh, I think it's kind of a, a synthesized drum. I don't think it's an actual drum. But though it could be a drum in the recording studio. You never know. But it sounds like it has some heavy uh, electronic effects on it. Uh, I love the very crisp crunchiness of the, uh, of the electronic snare drum in here. It sounds really nice. Uh, like I said drum sound and the voice break. I didn't even, I, I forgot to catch the voice break again. Uh, but yeah, she had this nice little kind of voice vocalization break that she had in there. Kind of like a voice cracking or whatnot, which I thought was a really nice emotional touch that she added in here. So let's, let's try to find it I know that's progress we don't have to hide no more but it leaves me wondering why we ain't said the stuff before like were we always all crazy and we all just kept quiet are we on the same page with what we're identifying and if crazy's the new normal then it's not that crazy is it because the word by definition god this fucking flow is insane means it sits outside the system and how can we tell the right there that little, that little squeak she has in her voice right there. And it's not that crazy, is it? Because the word by definition means it sits outside the system. Ooh. And how can we tell the difference between sick and trying to fit an end? If everybody's crazy, then who's supposed to fix it? As into the B is not that, like, crazy. You expect it to kind of come in, like, very loud and bumping and just kind of... Uh, well not, but it's, it's like kind of very mellow uh, and it's just kind of mostly just her singing over this right now which is pretty it's pretty cool so it's, it's definitely it's a very interesting choice now I'm, I'm, I'm with it at the moment um, I feel like there's something yeah no uh, something about the way she's singing this this chorus um what's coming to mind is kind of almost like choir or gospel like so let me get that again see if that's exactly what I was feeling uh, I don't know if I'd say gospel uh, there's something about the harmony in there uh mixed with the uh just kind of mostly just her voice with just a little bit of uh drum and bass in the background um but uh it, it definitely has this kind of almost like again pop kind of rock kind of feel to it which may be what i'm thinking maybe that's the term i'm looking for the genre i'm looking for anyways it's very nice beautiful harmonies in here i love the uh, passion and energy that she's delivering in her vocal lines anything uh just around here in general the flow and the scheme i said the lyrics of course we're going to continue to look at the lyrics uh next thing we have is a 210 do not forget that again uh, it's a it's kind of the breakdown of the song anyways so i don't think i'll forget that uh, um but yeah right at the beginning no one could tell me to get this bad this fast a little kind of flow pocket she fits in there for a second that little little I don't know if it's a pause to it, just kind of the da 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 kind of flow she gets in there. That's it's 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 that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I ain't, I ain't gonna hold you. Inside, I'm still no one told me it could get this bad, this fast. Guess we only hear that, about the struggle after wrist pass. Getting easier to open up, share what we've lost. Good to know I'm not alone, but if I'm really being honest, I kind of hope there's something wrong with me. I kind of hope this isn't how it's supposed to be. God, 
God, these these bars, man. <laughs> these fucking bars, though. Okay. Uh, so, you know, what well, we just said, no one could, told me you could get this bad this fast, which, like, yeah, you, you can turn on the dime sometimes. It's like, you, everything could be okay, and then all of a sudden, just, like, you're just, you're just in a bad place, and you fear yourself. It can, like, turn on a dime. It, it's crazy. Uh, I guess we only hear about the struggle after it passed. It's passed. Yeah. Getting easier to open up, share what we've lost. Good to know I'm not alone, but if I'm really being honest, I love this part. I kind of hope there's something wrong with me. I kind of hope this isn't how it's supposed to be. Like, that's... That's a bar, because it's like, I'm hoping that, like, that this is not how life is supposed to go. I'm hoping that there's something wrong with me so that something can be fixed about me. Like, bruh. Bruh, that's a bar. Okay. Uh, I pray to God it's not normal crying on the floor. I don't want to do this anymore. That's just, that was, that was some emotionally deep fucking bars. Like, it's a, that's a short verse. But, like, it was just some real talk shit right there. Like, goddamn. Anyways, let's jump ahead a little bit here. Go around 2 5 ish. Um, so, going back to the, uh, to the bars we just had um, right before uh, we went to the chorus again. But it's like it's softer. It's like in this, like, very soft. I don't know if I say smooth, but like kind of softer, more you know, peaceful. It doesn't seem the right word for this song, but it's the softer breakdown part of here, and then it kind of builds a little bit. Uh, and then I like how it plays how she plays off of herself with the uh, parenthetical lyrics in here, going back and forth between "I don't want to break down, but I'm feeling low," you know, back and forth, back and forth um, from the, you know the line from the chorus first line of the chorus there going back and forth and whatnot and then around 310 we have some more lyrics on the way out that she drops even some more bars so let's let's get it man let's get it so I am pretty positive if this was happening in a therapy session. <laughs> person would probably be like, I need you to calm down, otherwise I don't know if I can have you as a patient. I might have to get you checked out to make sure you're you know, fit mentally or something. Uh, but it's kind of funny that she's just like going over and being like, what have you written down? Like, is there something fucking wrong with me? Let me check these fucking books. Is there anything in here that says, you know? Uh, I think that's really good that way. But like this part just gets so like emotional. Like, it breaks down so soft, and it just allows more, like, emotion and kind of, like, sorrow and almost, like, desperation to come through in the lyrics, which is really fucking cool. To be, supposed to be, afraid I got to stop the norm, I'm crying on the floor, I don't want to do this anymore, though. I kind of hope there's something wrong with me. Building a little bit, it's building here. This isn't how it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be, I pray to... Getting a little bit more frantic. God, it's not normal, I'm crying. Dun, dun. Kind of like it's, it's it's doing a little bit of call and response here right now. She's you know responding to herself, uh, like quick. I like how it's a quick succession after saying I don't want to break down, but I'm feeling low. Like immediately answering the call is being immediately answered by the response, both her voices, and she's doing different um, notes and vocal lines for each. For the each different one and it's constantly changing up which is it is really getting this call and response feel which is really fucking cool sounds awesome the melody lines are beautiful like she's 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 really shaping it beautifully there vocally it's just it's good shit man lost my voice in my what aggressive behavior visually agitated yeah rapid thinking yeah that's some rap bars firing off here I don't know. Anyways. Yeah. I was just doodling. What the fuck are you doodling? Is that a snake? Ooh, hey, venom, hey. Um interesting. It doesn't ring a whole lot. Hmm. 
Anyways, uh, definitely aggressive. She's tearing up the whole fucking place. Anyways, let's listen to this. Again. God, it's not normal. Crying on the floor. I don't want to do this anymore. Was good bringing back into the chorus there. I'm pretty sure she's done that every time, but or maybe every time, I don't know. I don't know, I feel like I heard it before, but who knows? That's a nice little I, I like that. Don't know that yet. Sometimes I try to sneak up on the voice inside my head. I've tried to meditate. They tell me it'll help, but the last thing I need is more time alone. So repeating of some of the bars in the beginning there when not. I like the close up of her of her mouth when she's singing that part. I like how it's very just almost like just straight forward as if being like just read, like repeated out or something like that. Like it's just kind of it's like it's like it's happening without her even having to think about it. It's just coming out because it's just so ingrained or something. Like that's that's really fucking cool. Don't know that yet. Sometimes I try to sneak up on the voice inside my head. I've tried to meditate. They tell me it'll help, but the last thing I need is more time alone. Ariel. Ariel. Are you even listening? Yeah, uh, sorry. What were you saying? Whew. <sighs> And again, you know, calling back to some of the lyrics and whatnot. Um, I don't want to get them wrong. Let me do that again. Uh, if everybody's crazy, then who's supposed to fix it? And like, you know, you, you, looking at her lips again when I went back, could tell that when she's the patient, she didn't have lipstick on. And when she's the therapist, she had lipstick on. So the whole last part she was saying was kind of yeah, her as the therapist and it was like almost like she, that's what she was like thinking in her head when she was kind of spacing out and not paying attention to what the guy was saying um it's just kind of proven that like the therapist might be crazy too so if everyone's crazy i was supposed to fix it like great visual work there as well bringing it all back around full circle very fucking cool that is insanely catchy the bars are fucking crazy the flow is insane the beats great like i i i gotta listen to some more i got for hire man <laughs> this band is really really good uh as soon as uh, i get a few more stuff done from other groups and whatnot i'm gonna start jumping on i got for hire uh i think i'm waiting for reliqua uh after the next uh, album that's gonna be coming out, and then it'll be Reliqua. So, uh, getting close to that ish. Jonathan Young takes a while <laughs> to get through, so that's why it's gonna come on rotation instead of being an album because God's a lot of songs, <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of fucking songs. Um, I do like him though, he does a really good job. Just God's a lot of songs. Uh, it's a whole year's worth of like one, what does he do, one every two weeks, so two a month, about 24, yeah, it's, I mean, that's, that's a lot, if you think about standard albums between like, what, 10, 15, it's like double an album, man, it's like listening to two albums in one, that's a lot, <laughs> that's a real fucking lot, anyways, that was fucking good, I need to check out more from them, because everything I've listened to them so far has just been fucking banging, I love their mix of rapping and singing, like, because I really like rap. Um, I don't like a lot of the topics of rap, which is why I stayed away from it so for so long. But now it's really starting to grow on me the more I'm starting to listen to certain groups and whatnot. And the more, now that my music taste has matured more than when I was younger in high school and shit. Um, I, I really respecting the, the, the penmanship, the wordplay, and uh, lyricism and uh, flow creation of rap. I think it's really catchy. It's really fun to just 
spit these bars out the way that they these rappers these professionals be singing this was, was a lot of fun so i'm starting to like rap more and more and more but obviously metal and rock and all that it's like that's where i live that's where i've been growing up and setting up shop for my life my entirety of my life um so you know when you fuse the best of both those worlds together it's just an unstoppable combination which is why we're like one icon for hire just like hitting me so hard it's because like they, when you mix those two together it's just fucking beautiful anyways <laughs> thank you so much for joining me uh i would probably ch be checking out this album at some point i don't remember which one it is amorphous they made 2021 so that was recent oh okay that was, that was probably yeah that was, that was very much probably written during uh covid and whatnot and all the you know mental health was really on the verge of breaking down for everybody yeah so that makes sense anyways thank you so for, oh my god and that song yeah anyways talk about that some other time thank you for joining me i can't wait to see you in more of this i'll see you next time